the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Boxerboys.com live here with the Marius Coach Cuz Hill. So what's going on, man? Uh, obviously, I wanted to sit down and talk to you for a little bit and uh, just pick your brain because you're the head trainer, Marcellus, and he's now 2-0 as a pro. And I wanted to know, you know, just what you see in him, and uh, do we have another Deontay Wilder situation on our hands, or do we gotta, pat, you know, let him pan out, see what it is first? I mean, with uh, Marcellus, I mean, he's developing into a, a, a great fighter, a good fighter. You know, he started late, so I mean, you know, we, we building blocks, we building on top of each other, so we're not gonna rush into the situation. We're gonna take our time with it and just grow with the sport. And grow with the sport, basically. I mean, we got time. There's no sense of rushing it. I mean, just like simmering, simmering the uh, greens in the in the crock pot. I mean, we 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 gonna take our time with it, but I guarantee you, he's gonna be on top when it's all said and done. Now, why do you guarantee that? What is it that you see in him? Like, can you uh, convince the people that are gonna watch this? That you're training him because he's talented, not because he's the brother of Wilder. No, because he's talented. I mean, he has all the attributes that his, that his, that his brother has. He has speed, power, athleticism, and the most important thing is right here. He has heart, man. I mean, sometimes everybody look at skill. They say skill pay the bills, but sometimes when you get hit hard, all the skills go out the wonder. So, I mean, he has a lot of will as well, and plus he does have skill. So he has a lot of attributes that Deontay Wilder has as well. Now we all know you for you know the pad work that you do with Deontay Wilder. Um, do you think that Marcellus is going to be the fighter that puts you on the map, that lets everybody know about Demarius Hill and, and, and your skills as a coach? It, do you see him get into a world title? Yes, I see him get to a world title at all uh, cruiserweights. I mean, he, he puts the work in, he, he trains hard. I mean, of course I see him get to the top. I mean, we're not going to rush because that's a problem. Like, a lot of people, they, they try to like, like rush into their career. And they take fights that they, you know what I'm saying, like, you don't have to take that fight. I mean, we still growing with the sport, so, I mean, we're going to take it step by step, brick by brick. And one day, eventually, we'll be at the top. Now, how do you not rush him, but also rush him, right? Because he's 29, his brother's what? Deontay's 32, 32, 31? So it's like, how does Marcellus not rush himself? You know, he wants to be his own man. He wants to, you know, provide for his own family. Like, he wants this to be his job. I was talking to him last week, and he's happy just for the opportunity to be called the professional athlete again. So he wants to make this his full-time job. How does he not rush himself financially, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's still his choice. But by me knowing Marcellus, he's a patient man. He listens. And, I mean, he's going to get a, a, a team answer before he makes one answer. So, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, it's, all, it's his decision, but I feel like there is no rush. He has no damage done to his body. I mean, sometimes when you, when you start late, I mean, a lot of guys that start early, like 12, 13 years old, they go through an amateur career, they have like 200, 300 fights, and they, that's a lot of damage on your body. So, I mean, by him being 29, I mean, but he has no damage on his body. So, it's, I, I think, I, I look at like he's 23 or 24. Now, from the outside looking in, people could see Marcellus and look at him and say, you know, he's a bit of a firecracker, a problem starter. He's been around Deontay and, you know, issues with Dominic Brazil, then issues with Tony Bellew. As a trainer, how did you put that to the side or do you see the discipline in him while he's in the ring? And, and, and you have no issues with him? I have no issues with him. I believe in I am my brother's keeper. And I mean, sometimes you have to like get involved in situations or whatever. Then you gotta think about who started. I mean, he's never on the on the starting end, but you know, we just believe in finishing. 
So, I mean, but he's not a, a bad person or nothing like that. Don't get the wrong picture of Marcellus Wild. He's not a bad guy. He's a nice guy. You know, takes care of himself, disciplined guy. I mean, he, he wasn't raised that way. So, I mean, sometimes you get put in situations where you have to react to a situation. So, it's not that he's irrational. In your opinion, you don't think that you'll be in a in a situation where he'll lose his control. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Would he lose that control in the ring, though? I mean, that'll probably hey, be a good thing, hey, right? that's a good thing. I mean, outside of the ring is different. You step into the ring, you turn into a different person. That's just like Deontay said, on the outside of the ring, I'm Deontay Wilder. On the inside of the ring, I'm the bronze bomber, and don't get in my way. So now, Deontay said last week that his dream would be to fight his brother when it's all said and done. Do you see Marcellus being able to get up to heavyweight in the future? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, he walks around like at 200 plus, so there's no doubt about it. If he just start like, you know, lifting weights a little bit and stuff like that because he doesn't lift weights for real. So, of course, I see him getting up to like, like a 220-ish, 225, like more of a Vander Holyfield style. Family, yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.